first thing to get into, number one, I want to talk about because I thought like this is something that's exciting in my world because this is something that I'm kind of obsessed with on the sly. I check loads of flipping detractor channels. I'm always checking other people's content about it. I'm on the discords. I'm on the flipping reddits and whatnot. I'm engaged. And that is concerning, concerning the community of trolls around Geordie Jordan, a.k.a. Wings of Redemption. And today, there's been a big development for those people who are fans of his or like to take the piss out of him and laugh at him from afar. He has been permanently banned from streaming on Twitch. And it's hilarious why he got banned on there, because if I'm not mistaken, um, he was obviously, you know, he's been harassed by from trolls for ages, but effectively... He was trying to do a little bit of a game where he was trying to evade copyright strikes by setting up a Twitch channel, no, by by basically moving, by deleting videos on his YouTube account when he streamed, so, you, so there was no copyright strike thing. Then he tried to go back on Twitch and do a bit of streaming on there, but of course Twitch is known for being really stingy on their rules and stuff, so they absolutely, absolutely you know, told him to go and skedazzle. And then I guess when he... Um, I guess when he got told to, when he got a, a little ban on Twitch, they do these seven day bans. Sometimes it's fourteen. Days, I forgot how long they do them, but it, they're usually days in terms in terms of how long you cannot stream. And for whatever reason, he's such such a dummy. He decided that he couldn't wait for the ban just to kind of be over. Like he had to stream so desperately, I guess, because you know it's his only means of income. I guess that probably explains why he did it. And he tried to stream on his wife's um, Twitch account which then basically fell under the stipulation of him evading a ban because he's using the same IP address, I'm assuming, to stream on that on that account, even though it's a separate account. And now he's been suspended completely. And he's posted a Twitter um, update here saying, really, how was I ban evading? Question mark. I had nothing to do with my wife's channel. There wasn't even a stream done on it yet. So at Twitch support. So clearly at Twitch support basically laid out the law and said, you know, because he tried to evade the ban by setting up another account that he was obviously um, trying to break the rules. And now they've uh, they got a account suspension, evasion, um, where it's on your channel, suspension left indefinite, indefinite ban on his channel, indefinite ban on his channel. Now I'm thinking to myself, if if this was a normal person, if this was a normal person, they'll just give up on streaming because the the, the hassle and because um, all these people are people that kind of come after him, right? Um, Mr. Yellow Dick Swagger, Wings 007. The hassle he gets from trolls is just too much. Like they've, it's become a sport now to try your best to kind of um, get a get a rye under um, get a rye from um, Wings of Redemption to really piss him off, right? Um, to really press his buttons. It's become a bit of a sport. And I feel like they're all kind of competing to see who can do the, do it the best. So at this point, there's no rationalizing with these people. So if it was me, I would just tuck my tail behind, you know, between my legs, sorry, and just go and get a normal job, or at least maybe um, go and get a job to supplement my income that I make on stream, but not to have a complete streaming career anymore because it's just not viable for him because at every turn these guys are always going to try to basically fuck him over because they just don't like him as a person and um clearly he doesn't get that which is you know whatever it may be because he's just putting it um, to rest here um he's saying that how this twitch ban isn't valid and once a, a human looks at it it'll win the appeal another twitch another twitch update here Twitter update here, sorry, from Wings says, let's put the rumors to rest. Kelly's donation link is stream, stream Labs. I use Stream Elements. Also, nobody made an account. All Kelly did was change her name from Fantasia Life to Mrs. Wings Redemption and things. This is all that happened. I had nothing to do with any of it. So clearly, he's not accepting any responsibility from it and stuff. But I don't know, man. I just want to know. I just want to know. Why is it that most of these low cows feel as if they're like entitled or deserving um of a streaming career forever they legitimately feel like this gravy train never ends i don't understand why why don't they have it in their heads that you know in the same way that you know once upon a time instagram was one of the number one social media platforms out there once upon a time people used to use um what's that streaming platform that you use on twitch on twitter so i forgot which one it was but every you know i don't know every decade or so there's a new app that comes around a new platform a new whatever that takes up that kind of you know blows the other one out of the water so there's no reason to think that youtube will last forever that twitch will last forever all these things will last forever so why do they legitimately why are they legitimately so against just removing themselves from the internet and getting a normal job? Well, not even removing themselves from the internet, because I guess the fame is a lot, right, to deal with um, or to kind of walk away from. But at least try to get some sort of level of a normal job. Like, why can't they do that? 
I don't understand it. Like, why can't Wings really figure out by this point throughout his entire 10-plus career, you know, online? People have legitimately hated his guts for valid and invalid reasons. But regardless, it's now got to be, like I said, it's become a sport now. People are competing to see how they can destroy his life to the point where I don't think it's ever going to get any better. Even if he sits there and apologizes for everything, acknowledges his mistakes, accepts responsibility, blah, blah, blah. He's never going to change. They legitimately don't like the guy. So if that's the case, just back away from it and just do other things. It's not that deep. But for whatever reason, these guys seem incapable of doing so. It's just really bizarre to me. I really don't understand it. Um, and Wings, is in, in, in more so in the case of Wings, because I think DSP is quite lucky. He doesn't really have the same level of trolls that Wings have for whatever reason. Although I do think that DSP is far more deserving, far more deserving of the harassment that Wings gets um, also. I really do think so. I think if anyone deserves their channel to get completely nuked, um, it would definitely be um, DSP if that was to happen. Of course, I'm not going to condone that. Mama Susan don't come after me but i'm just saying if there was a more deserving person for that kind of level of um abuse and stuff it would definitely be dsp but regardless um wings of redemption has been perma banned from twitch he's obviously going to appeal it he's still i think able to stream on youtube but he doesn't want to because he wants to um not give the trolls an opportunity to essentially copyright strike his account again because i think he's got two copyright strikes on youtube one more on his account his channel gets completely you know nuked um so he's trying to basically weigh out the copyright strike date that the copyright strike on his account which i think is 90 days or 60 i forgot which one it is and then he's going to try and stream again now somebody with a bit of foresight and willingness to kind of work and kind of hustle would obviously appeal the copyright strike and not just sit there and wait the 90 days but you know wing of redemption is one of the laziest people ever to walk on the face of the earth so he's not going to do that but that would be probably the best thing to do um but yeah absolutely crazy absolutely crazy this guy's whole entire livelihood is like on the line because he decides to basically have his you know look after his entire family off of the offer of the salary that he gets from streaming and then he's a very divisive character people don't like him they go out of their way to try and destroy his life and he doesn't have any other you know options to make money outside of streaming it looks like he doesn't or he doesn't want to explore them it's just a really bizarre corner to put yourself in um doesn't really make any sense and it's weird too because these guys have been around forever do you know what I mean? And they don't necessarily figure out an exit plan. There's no idea. Like, you know, I, I, I don't know. If it, Even me, someone who's kind of, I enjoy this sort of stuff. Even I don't think this is going to last forever. You just do it for a period of time. You make some money to supplement your lifestyle like I'm doing now. You're raising money for flipping to buy beers and stuff. I don't know, whatever you're doing it for. But you're not exactly doing it in the idea that this is going to be your one and only thing forever. You do it as maybe as a platform to do other things. You know, as there's a picture here I'm seeing of um the, the the Paul brothers, they've probably done it the best in recent years, right? Using the notoriety they've got from streaming to kind of venture into other things they want to explore. But I don't know. I guess if you're a local, you don't really, you know, if you're a local, it's kind of hard to expect them to have good business acumen because part of the reason why they're locals is because they have no fucking brains. Absolutely no bloody brains. So big up Winter of Redemption. Um, hopefully he figures it out and he wins his appeal because, to be honest, as much as I enjoy laughing at him and he's, you know, redacted ways, I don't want to see the guy desolate because I don't think he has the... To put it, to put it like, kindly, I don't think he has the, 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 the necessary grit to kind of go through dark times. I feel like if it gets really dark and he's got no option to stream, he could get really bleak for him. And I don't want that to happen. Do you know what I mean, I really don't want it to happen. Like the guy looks like he's a little bit emotionally vulnerable. Um, he's susceptible obviously to bouts of mood swings and depression and stuff. You know what I mean? It could get really dark really quickly. So I would actually like for him to get his channel back and whatnot. But I would also like for him to kind of think of a way that he can make some money outside of streaming so that he's not so dependent on streaming if it does get taken away from him. Do you know what I mean? But what do I know in it? A man, man's not his father. Next.